it's injurious because it decreases respiratory activity and loss of type 1 interfering signaling can counteract obesity. Exposure to cold in a non-shivering cold induced thermogenesis as seen by the functional imaging using positron emission tomography using 18 fluorodeoxyglucose uptake by the brown fat was seen to be increased upon non-shivering uh, cold exposure. In an acute and in a chronic way, increasing the volume of the brown adipose tissue as we can see here uh, in these two uh, uh, PET scans. Also the effect of temperature, temperature increases the metabolic rate of oxygen and with associated concomitant increase in the cerebral blood flow. And this was elegantly presented in the uh, last ESD uh, by uh, Moiz Uddin et al, showing that also not only the brown adipose tissue is stimulated, but also the human cervical thoracic muscles are stimulated by cold exposure. And this PET scan was conducted using auction 15 and not the FDG. Also, cold accl acclimatization improves brown adipose tissue function initially and volume when the uh, person is exposed to cold for uh, chronic, uh, uh, for longer periods of time. But obesity planted the metabolic response to cold and insulin stimulation. Also, uh, uh, lipid uh, accumulation into the brown adipose tissue reduces the oxidative capacity, and this was found to be positively correlated by CT radio density. 40% reduction of the mitochondrial oxygen activity was found due to fat accumulation in the liver and the muscles. Also, brown adipose tissue ac uh, activation is accompanied by cerebral activation in lean persons, but not in obese human beings. And this is associated in the lean persons only by re increase in the regional cerebral glucose uptake, as we can see here in the uh, images. Weight loss. Only 12% of the weight loss is associated with significant increase in the glucose uptake rate on cold exposure in the brown adipose tissue. Exercise is associated with the stimulation of the sympathetic nervous system with the release of uh, uh, catecholamines, with the release of irisine from the muscles which activate both the brown and the beige adipose tissues. While aging is associated with decrease in the multilocularity, thermogenic capacity, and the uncoupling protein 1. So, the thermogenesis declines during aging. What are the therapeutic options for brown and beige fat activation? Adenosine, to remind you, this is adenosine triphosphate, this is adenine, and ribose molecule and triphosphate molecules. When we remove two, we have the adenosine monophosphate. When we remove the phosphate, we have the adenosine, which is composed of adenine and ribose. Adenosine binds to G-protein coupled receptors to act as a co-transmitter, which can activate browning. And they study actually stimulation of certain stimulatory G-protein by adenosine called A2A, which stimulates the annelate cyclase to increase cyclic AMB and this will increase the browning. Adenosine was found to increase the infrared thermography uh, uh, detected uh, cold induced energy expenditure. And also A2A to, A to A agonist increase the energy expenditure as detected by the indirect, indirect calorimetry. So A2A agonist induce oxygen consumption by 70% they induce browning and they reduce body weight and fat mass and also improve glucose homeostasis. So they are appealing methods to combat obesity and diabetes. Also, A2A gene transfer induce browning and is studied and was presented elegantly by Berju Nutila and her uh, team in the ESD 2016. Another important field for study was the G-protein coupled receptors. These G-protein coupled receptors have GQ representing 21.5% of these receptors in the brown adipose tissue and they inhibit brown adipose tissue. So inhibiting them by uh, a plant called Ardicia crenata, which is a Christmas berry, will have promising results for activation of the browning. So the future for combating obesity and diabetes is much more complicated. 
even more complicated when we add the brain mediators or maybe as simple as fasting. Fasting will inhibit PPAR gamma presentation in the wide adipose tissue and this will result into uh, decrease in the uh, fat accumulation in the wide adipose tissue and promote life uh, ex ex uh, uh, extension through reduction of the white adipose tissue. And finally, I will leave you with this verse of the Holy Quran saying that, and they ask you about the soul, the soul is of the affair of my Lord and mankind have not been given of knowledge except a little. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim wa yas'alunak an ar-ruh qul ar-ruh min amri rabbi wa ma uftitum al-ilmi illa qalila. Thank you very much. عبير زكريا هي طبعا معودين على ذيس دانس ساينتفيك انفورميشنز وطبعا هي تشانس كويسه قوي ان احنا نعرف ايه اللي بيحصل بره يعني مش كل المعلومات هتبقى الحاجات القديمه لازم نبقى اورينتد بالحاجات الجينيتكس والاي اس دي الريل انفورميشنز بس انا احب اسال او اوضح بوينت حضرتك قلتيها على الجليتا زونز لو احنا هنتكلم على حاجات كلينيكالي ابلايد كبيبار جاما Uh, very effective drugs or redistribution of fats. Have there any studies on it? Have there increased in brown adipose tissue from the point of view of the fat scan? We can clarify this point. Yes, of course. The studies that were conducted were on animal models or on small groups of human in, uh, uh, volunteers, uh, showing increase in the uh, brown adipose tissue activity, where prolongation you add to increase in the brown adipose tissue volume. And also in the browning, the development of the beige cells inside the white adipose tissue. And this was biopsied. They took biopsies from the subcutaneous white adipose tissue. We saw that there were beige cells. The cells that we said were not attached to the cell line. These cell lines are with the white adipose tissue, non-myogenic cell line. And they developed by increase in the uncoupling protein 1 presentation, allowing thermogenesis. فيعني حقيقه حاجه هايله يعني مهوله بس ممكن من من الماتش كومبليكيتد واي اوف ثينكينج تو ذا مير سيمبل واي اوف ثينكينج جاست فاستنج اند اكسرسايز كان ستيموليت بيجينج اوف ذا وايت اديبوس تيشو علشان كده في الاخر جينا وقلنا ممكن تبقى الفيوتشر سو كومبليكيتد زي ما احنا قلنا وعرضنا وحاجات ميدييتورز وبتاع والتفكير ولا ممكن تبقى سو سيمبل باي فاستنج to avoid the de more development of the white adipose tissue and by exercising to stimulate the beijing of the white adipose tissue. فعشان كده بقول وما اوتيتم من العلم سبحان الله يعني وتعالى وما اوتيتم من العلم الا قليلا لان هو حاجه ده احنا خدنا بس حاجه صغيره قوي كده وانبهرنا امال اللي هو سبحانه وتعالى بقى يعني هو العلم في انها ملوش اخر طبعا سبحان الله. نستنى بقى كل سنه ان شاء الله نسمع حضرتك الابديت. طبعا يسعدني اتس ماي اونر اند بلاجر تو انتروديوس بروفيسور دكتور ايناس شلتوت. هتكلمنا ان شاء الله عن الويمن اند دايبيتس مليفز. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. Dear professors, uh, Mr. Chairman, I am going to talk about women, obesity, and diabetes. Uh, during uh, early uh, 20th century, ladies were considered uh, nice looking if they are overweight as the picture we are seeing. But in uh, 2015, the WHO latest obesity figures said that there is approximately 2.3 billion adults above the age of 15 are overweight and about 700 million adults uh, obese persons. The majority of these obese persons are females. Then obesity started uh, years ago to be considered as uh, a chronic disease. It's not a sign of beauty. Uh, the environment is obesogenic for females due to urbanization 
and due to sedentary lifestyle, private cars, television, television and household appliances. What about the lifestyle uh, in Egypt? Our Egyptian lifestyle is obesogenic. The percentage of people who eat five or more servings of fruits and vegetables per day, about 20% of population, whether male or females, eat healthy. Um, uh, lifestyle, uh, healthy eating, uh, five servings of fruits and vegetables per day. What about physical activity? You find uh, about 50% of people uh, are doing very little uh, uh, activity and exercise per day, and the remaining 50% are not doing uh, exercise at all. For uh, physical measurement of obesity and overweight, we find 60% uh, of males are overweight, 20% uh, are obese, for females, 72% are overweight and 39% are obese uh, in Egypt. What are the complications of obesity? The clear and present danger, cardiovascular disease, coronary artery disease, angina, myocardial infarction, heart failure, arrhythmia, and sudden death, hypertension. Every 10% increase in weight leads to increase six millimeter mercury in blood pressure, in mean blood pressure, and reduction of body weight leads to decrease of blood pressure. Deep venous thrombosis, respiratory disorders like sleep apnea, impaired respiratory function, Pequiquian syndrome. This is a picture of uh, Charles Dickens' uh, story. Uh, Pequiquian uh, syndrome was um, uh, the name after uh, Charles Dickens' uh, story. And th uh, this is a picture of uh, sleep apnea, which uh, uh, may be very dangerous. Other complications of obesity include uh, hepatobiliary, fatty liver, hepatitis, uh, calcular cholecystitis, arthritis, especially of the weight-bearing joints, cancers, breast colon, prostate, uterus, ovary, and others. Nine types of cancers are related to obesity. Diabetes mellitus. 80% of diabetics are obese. Hyperlipidemia, especially hypertriglyceridemia, infertility, abortions, birth defects in obese mothers above uh, 30 body mass index, and increased mortality above uh, 30 uh, BMI with no uh, known cause. This is a relation between body mass index and chronic diseases in males and in females. We find high increase of type 2 diabetes, both in uh, women and men, in relation to increased body mass index, and also of cholelysis, hypertension, and coronary heart disease. Um, when the body mass index is increasing to around 35 or more, we find the uh, increased incidence of type 2 diabetes 93 times compared to those having body mass index less than 22. And in males, a 42 times increase incidence of type 2 diabetes in those body mass index above 35 in relation to those uh, with body mass index less than uh, 22. As we said, obesity is linked to nine types of cancers, breast cancer, colonic uterus, uh, breast cancer in females, uh, uterus in females, conclusive to females, gallbladder disease, ovarian cancer, prostate in males, upper GIT, pancreas, and renal cell carcinoma in both males and females. Uh, other group of complications of obesity include physical complications and social complications, physical complications in the form of tiredness, breathlessness, varicose veins, headache, edema, cellulitis, sweating, intertigo, stress incontinence, and social complications in the form of sense of isolation, unemployment, family or marital stresses, financial stresses, and depression. Um, the abdominal obesity has an impact on cardiometabolic risk factors 
In the HOPE study, abdominal obesity was known to, have, to cause increased risk of cardiovascular events, and abdominal obesity increases the risk of developing type 2 diabetes. Abdominal obesity in the Paris Prospective study predicts adverse outcomes like sudden death, and abdominal diameter is a better predictor of the risk of sudden cardiac death than the total uh, body mass index. Uh, abdominal obesity, again, in um, this study was related to increased risk of coronary heart disease. Intra-abdominal adiposity uh, is related to hypertriglyceridemia and to low HDL cholesterol. The twin epidemic of obesity and type 2 diabetes are on the rise. Uh, from 19... 86 to 2000, the prevalence of BMI of 30 was doubled. BMI more than 40 was quadrupled, and extreme obesity of BMI more than 50 was increased five folds. Alarming is the epidemic of obesity is happening is young children. Uh, the impact of obesity on longevity. We find that uh, 2.5 million deaths happen every year just because of obesity, attributed to obesity. And there is a direct relationship between increasing body mass index and risk of dying prematurely. We uh, find that mor morbidly obese population average uh, life expectancy is reduced by nine years in females and 12 years in males. Uh, it is more than an issue of size. It's not just a size or an image. It's uh, a problem and complications. Uh, women and obesity, it's not just size. Uh, there is greater health quick, uh, consequences, greater psychological consequences, and specific female issues, um, fertility is impaired, polycystic ovary syndrome, pregnancy complications, influence on fetal development, complications related to menopause, and some female concerns. We are going to discuss those. Obesity affects women uh, disproportionately, uh, like we said, it is an obesogenic environment and women are more prone to obesity. Female obesity, a life uh, cycle of uh, medical risk uh, during infancy, during uh, childhood and puberty, during um, uh, middle age uh, and during postmenopausal period. In adolescence and adulthood, uh, there is some uh, psychosocial uh, health problems and some reproductive uh, complications. Uh, infertility uh, sometimes, and there is failure of assisted reproduction in females with uh, obesity. And this study showed that fertility with assisted reproduction, the pregnancy rate, was halved for obese women. Uh, also, the body mass index predicts infertility in women with and without polycystic uh, ovary syndrome in both obese uh, females with polycystic syndrome and without polycystic syndrome, there was uh, infertility and failure of induction of ovulation. Um, during pregnancy, there are uh, some known complications of uh, obesity. During early pregnancy, miscarriage, uh, twinning, difficult ultrasound, uh, antenatal, pregnancy-induced hypertension, preeclampsia, gestational diabetes, venous thromboembolism, intrapartum, higher rate for induction of labor, planned and acute cesarean section, assisted delivery, vaginal tears, and postpartum hemorrhage, infection, and venous thromboembolism. All these complications may happen more in obese uh, pregnant lady. 
and for fetal complications, macrosomia, congenital anomalies, fetal distress, perinatal morbidity and mortality are increased, and maybe birth injury. Um, and gestational diabetes, around 5 to 9 percent of all pregnancies um, uh, are experiencing gestational diabetes, and overweight women at our higher risk, around 17 percent risk for developing gestational diabetes. Um, from the metabolic effects during pregnancy to effects during pregnancy to some fetal uh, complications as we discussed. And for mature uh, and aging women, another group of complications, uh, comorbidities with aging like type 2 diabetes, hypertension, cardiovascular diseases, and increased risk for almost all types of cancers in female like uterine cancer, breast cancer, cervical cancer, and renal cancer. Those are uh, cancers common in obese females, starting with uterine cancer, cervical cancer, and breast cancer. In elderly women, there is increased risk for cognition dysfunction and dementia with aging and negative implications on life expectancy. The risk of Alzheimer's disease in elderly uh, females with metabolic syndrome is very high compared to uh, non-metabolic uh, syndrome, those uh, uh, who doesn't have uh, metabolic syndrome, and this relation was not found in uh, males. Um, obesity is an independent risk factor for Alzheimer's disease, and obesity is associated with increased risk for dementia and Alzheimer's disease. This is the life cycle uh, from um, young uh, female to adolescent female to uh, childbearing period to uh, older female and mature aging women. And this, of course, can affect the babies and affect pregnancies and uh, has some effect on the, um, on the men uh, also. Um, my conclusion, dear ladies, it's never too late. Live healthy and enjoy your life. Thank you very much. أيوة. بس أنا ليا كومنت يعني عملية شوية اللي عايز يعالج أوبيزتي عشان أوبيزتي بما لديها بما لها من مخاطر شديدة جدا على كل حاجة على الكارديو فاسكولار وعلى الاندوكراين وعلى كل حاجة علاج الأوبيزتي من الصغر في مرحلة الهايبر بلاستيك ستيج العائل اللي عنده سنتين ثلاثة ما تخلوش يقعد يأكل حلويات وجنك فود وبتاع لما يكبر عدد الفات سيلز بتبقى سبتة تقريبا بتبقى هايبرتروفيد وبعدين اما يقعد يعمل رجيم ويخس وبعدين يرجع في خلال اسبوع يجيب اللي هو جابه تاني وبعدين العلاج الاوبيستي اللي هو الحقيقه الواحد بيشوف مهازل في السوق من مراكز التخسيس اللي بتدفع الناس الاف الجنيهات وعشرات الالوف من الجنيهات والجراحين اللي هم احترفوا عمليات الاوبيستي اللي يركب بالونة واللي مش عارف يدبس المعدة واللي يعمل باي باس للمش عارف ايه واللي يعمل لايبو ساكشن وبعدين العيان يموت من لايبو ساكشن اشهر واحدة انتوا عارفينها اللي هي سعاد نصر اللي ماتت من لايبو ساكشن ماتت من الانستيزي فالحقيقة لو عايز تعالج اوبيزتي اكتشولي امسك العيل من هو صغير امسك العيل من هو صغير العيل ابو سنتين ثلاثة ده ما تقعدش تديله في حلويات وتديله في شيبسي وتديله في بوزو وبتاع وبعدين واحده تجي لي قد الفيل عندها 40 50 سنه وتقول لي خسسني، طيب ماشي هخسسك وهتمشي على دايت كنترول وبعدين في الاخر خالص بالسلامه. 
ثانك يو واحنا بقى متهيألي الوقت از تو ليت ان احنا اتاخرنا في البدايه فهنبدا السيشن الثاني الثانيه بعد اذنك يا دكتوره انيس خدي يا خدي يا 